Meet the Nigerian woman who became a general in the U.S. Army. The United States Army has elevated a Nigerian woman from Lieutenant Colonel to Brigadier General. Serving at a military installation in Fort Knox, Kentucky, is Amanda Azubuke. She enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1994 and graduated from the Army Aviation Officer Basic Course to become an aviator. A Brigadier General is a one-star general officer in the U.S. Armed Forces who ranks below a Major General and above a Colonel. General James Rainey, commander of the U.S. Army Futures Command, praised Azobuke for her strong leadership qualities and said that she makes everyone around her better. Born in London, United Kingdom, to a Nigerian father and a Zimbabwean mother, Amanda Azubuke joined the U.S. Army in 1994 and became an aviator after passing the Army Aviation Officer Basic Course. Out of the total population of 1.2 million men and women of the U.S. Army, only 300 made it to the high-ranking positions of which she was meritoriously among. Hello there, thanks for sticking with Africa Reloaded. Stay with us to discover how this woman got to the top in this field dominated by men. Remember to like and subscribe as we ride on. Azubuke was promoted from Lieutenant Colonel to Brigadier General of the U.S. Army at a military base in Fort Knox, Kentucky, USA. She spent 11 years in the aviation industry before continuing her career in the Army as a public affairs and relations officer. Azubuke previously held the position of Chief of Staff, Senior Military Advisor at the Office of the Secretary of Defense, and is currently a Deputy Commanding Officer at the U.S. Army Cadet Command. She also held the positions of Director of Public Affairs at the Joint Force HQS National Capital Region, Military District of Washington, and Chief of Public Affairs at the United States Southern Command, Fort Lauderdale area. She also worked in public relations for the Washington Redskins, an NFL team, and as a communications consultant for the National Football League Players Association. In addition to her military training, General Azubuke holds a Master of Arts in National Security and Strategic Studies from the United States Army War College and a Master of Professional Studies in Public Relations Corporate Communications from Georgetown University. She also holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Mass Communication Media Studies from the University of Central Arkansas. Amanda Azubuke began her career in the 924th Aviation Support Battalion at Hunter Army Airfield, Georgia, where she served as a platoon leader after graduating from flight school in 1995 as a Move-1 pilot. She worked for the aviation company Multinational Force and Observers in the Sinai, Egypt, first as the Flight Operations Officer and then as the platoon leader. She served in South Korea as an Operations Officer and RC-12 pilot with the 3rd Military Intelligence Battalion, Aerial Exploitation, after completing the Fixed Wing Multi-Engine Qualification Course and Military Intelligence Captain's Career Course. She was assigned to Fort Jackson, South Carolina, as the commander of Alpha Company, Victory Brigade. She was assigned to the Coalition Forces Land Component Command in Kuwait from July 2005 through June 2006, where she served as a Public Affairs Operations Officer. Amanda was assigned to the U.S. Army Central Command's headquarters at Fort McPherson, Georgia. Azubwake served as the Chief of Media Relations and Public Affairs Operations Officer with the U.S. Army Central Command's headquarters at Fort McPherson, Georgia. In the Community Outreach Division of the Pentagon's Office of the Chief of Public Affairs, Amanda was given a job. As the Public Affairs Director for the 3rd Infantry Division at Fort Stewart, Georgia, Amanda was a student at the U.S. Army War College. She deployed to Bagram, Afghanistan, with the division headquarters. As the Joint Force Headquarters Military District of Washington's Public Relations Director, Amanda was posted to Fort McNair in Washington, D.C., where she oversaw the Joint Public Affairs Team that assisted in the 58th Presidential Inauguration. She worked as the U.S. Southern Command Headquarters Chief of Public Affairs in Doral, Florida. Azumbuke served as the Chief of Staff and Senior Military Assistant to the Principal Deputy in the Office of the Secretary of Defense at the Pentagon. The Army Aviator Badge, Air Assault Badge, and Parachutist Badge have all been acquired by Amanda. 
The Defense Superior Service Medal, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal with three bronze oak leaf clusters, Army Achievement Medal with silver oak leaf cluster, and Joint Service Commendation Medal are just a few of the honors and decorations she has received. It is often said that determination is a major key to success. This assertion has been proven by Amanda Azubuke, as she was determined in her career and became the first woman from Nigeria to climb the ladder of huge success and becoming a brigadier general in the U.S. Army even before being granted citizenship. Thanks for watching. Do well to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more updates. Do not hesitate to leave a comment whenever necessary and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.